Hello! This is, uh, this was DDM. Uh, this wasn't ever DDM's hand, this is just a model. And welcome to the DDM contest. Well, I'm not DDM anymore. Welcome to the, the new channel contest. I thought to get the channel back on track, we need to hold an epic summer contest because when it's summer, and you know, you're outside playing with your friends, this is the kind of thing you want to do. Come in and answer a few riddles for me. It's been a while since you've seen this floor, hasn't it? Uh, yeah, that, that book is uh, still over there. I really should um, probably tidy that up or something. Anyway, enough about my dreadful life. Today I'm going to take you through all the things you could win in the... I keep saying... I'm about to say in the DDM contest, in the Huxel Burger Summer Extravaganza contest. It's going to be absolutely... It's going to be a contest, but I don't really want to make any promises past that. Okay, so here it is. The Box of Wonders, or as they call it in the uh, in the antiques industry, useless fucking tat. Now, oh, do you like that that little lid? That's a joke. I don't think you quite see that. <laughs> the way the camera is suspended right now is rather um, tumultuous. It could fall off at any moment, so I, d I just need to be careful. But I think you can, yes. I think you've got the funny there. <gasps> Emma Watson got that one. Oh, of course she did. Oh, look at all these goodies you could win in today's contest, such as the incredible, perfect for the summer season, Buck Bumble. A game made famous for having more fog of war than World War One. And uh, yeah, it's, it's Buck Bumble. And you may win this today or, or, now this this one's pretty special. Not Ocarina of Time, <laughs> Legend of Zelda. That game, ugh. But here we have Earthworm Jim 3D. Look at Jim. Ruby. He's so excited to be won by you. And you know, I'll be quite excited to see that game go as well. And then over here, we've got the r worst rareware game ever made and the most annoying game in the universe. That's pretty good, you know. And on top of that. We've got, we've got the perfect dark instruction manual, which I have no idea how I got because I'm pretty sure I, I don't own perfect dark in any sort of form, but I've got the instruction manual, which is good for figuring out how I would play it if I had the opportunity. Sometimes I just stay up late at night looking through here with my N64 controller fiddling around trying to figure out everything and uh, it's all hintergrund, as they would say, but before you inhaled any further, we're going to continue. What's this? Oh, we've got the perfect dark special collector's edition strategy guide. Yes, before Let's Plays, there was a... Sorry for the camera angle. This is sort of like a DDM vision. This is why it takes so long for me to make videos, because I have to deal with my chronic dwarfism at every stage of my life, and... Well, uh, chronic dwarfism. You know, not like the other dwarfisms that just sort of fade after a few years. This one... It really sticks with you, so you can see we've got some exclusive JPEGs all over the place. Look at this guy, you can't quite see him because uh, my professional lighting studio seems to be failing me, but he's he's got quite a few polygons, I'd say that much. But yeah, this is a fantastic let's play of Perfect Dark. You've got the multiplayer levels included as well, far better than anything I'd pull off. And it takes about three years less than my usual let's play we've got. We've got um, the side character from Final Fantasy XIII just chilling before, you know, the worst game ever made came out. More on that some other time. Uh, there's not really much else going on in here. Oh! Oh! Oh, that's a surprise. You'd think this page would have way more come on it. So I hope you enjoyed the tour of everything you will not be winning today. <laughs> Got you there, didn't I? Yes, sir. Uh, I was just kind of showing off and extending my electronic penis a bit further. I think that's what e-penis stands for. Either that or enzymes. I'm, I'm not really sure if someone could reply to me. That, that's not the question for the contest, though. That's just a favour. You owe me. Okay, so here are the things you could win in the DDM contest summer extravaganza. The, the Huxelberger contest extravaganza. Excuse me, I lost myself for a second. Okay, so first up, we've got... Bugs Bunny Crazy Castle 4, the uh, <laughs> sequel to Bugs Bunny Crazy Castle 3. Yikes, he says, I've never thought I'd be nominated to be in this contest because I'm such a fantastic game. How could how could DDM ever part with me? He can even... Oh, God, he's... It's naked disgusting. Anyway, 
So that's a thing you might win. And then we've also got Scooby-Doo Classic Creep Capers, only four Game Boy Color. This, <coughs> this is very old, uh, but still sealed. And by that, I mean the, the chip is still inside the cartridge, which will definitely help you on your misadventures. I seem to remember it being sort of like an adventure game. Adventure games. Probably as good as a Sierra one. Definitely worth your time. Uh, I, I won't do a Scooby-Doo impression because I, I get nervous about what I don't want to talk about. But what kind of a contest would it be? Get out of the way! Crap, what kind of a contest would it be? If I mean, you're going to get these games and then how are you going to play them? How are you going to enjoy Scooby-Doo Classic Creek How are you going to enjoy them? And um, don't worry, I am a caring man, so I've also bundled in your very own Super Game Boy to play them and enjoy them uh, on, on your Super Game Boy. So get, you don't even need one. It's fantastic. You just put the game in here, as I've apparently demonstrated about 10 years ago, and it's on the big screen. It's on the television. I mean, I think this plugs into s something else, but it's okay. I'm sure it'll be fine. You'll get the full experience. Just popping it in there. Actually, wait, what? And also, you're not going to win this. That's mine. Oh, look at these games in the art of mating. It's beautiful. It's nature at its finest. And these could be yours if you win the Huxelberger Summer Contest Extravaganza. See terms and conditions to enter. Now, of course, these will be posted. I will not be delivering them to your door because I'm a tad busy next week. I would like to. Uh, but I'm going to be a little bit busy with other things. So... I mean, I've got a new shipment of glue, so that's going to keep me going for quite a while. But the most important thing, okay, is if, if you're in a country, for example, Japan, then you may not be able to enter the contest. So that's an important thing to consider before you enter. Check to see, are you in a country? Could interfere with, with shipping, with, uh, with getting these majestic games to your doorstep. Or refrigerator box. I don't discriminate. And of course, the uh, the provider we're going to be using for such a magnificent parcel, none other than the. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I know it's marvelous. Okay. okay. Uh, no, you're giving me a lot of credit. Here. Just, just stop. Oh God. Oh God. What have I done? That was the last copy in this entire house. But wait a minute, Huxle DDM, you ask, and I say, which one? You have to pick a side of the battle, and then you sort of meander about decisions and things like that. Anyway, we get to the point. Boxes killed my parents. How do I know the box you're going to send me is safe? Well, I've got a solution to that, chumley. Well, get ready to feast your eyes on the box in all its majesty. And also, I've grown three inches taller. The miracle, my dwarfism is curing. Um... So the main exciting feature about this box that you can most certainly trust will not murder your parents. Oops, sorry about that. These little, these cute little flaps on the side, you know, these are for, as they say in the postal business, it's called a parcel miscarriage. And these are to help it sort of flap um, daunting, dauntingly, but usually without any sort of real effect. But it, it's so cute to the person as they watch the box plummet to its doom. There's probably a cartoon splat afterwards and the contents are lost forever. Anyway, it's also got, I take speed very seriously, so as you can see we've got flames on this side of the box. I didn't manage to put flames on the other side of the box, my biro ran out, but flames on this side, so it's gonna come in at a fierce angle into your letterbox, best be ready for that. And um, as you can see, we've got the recipient here, the winner of the international, but mainly in Europe and the States, see terms and conditions. Internet Contest 2015, please be gentle as you carry it through your hallowed halls. Yeah, so we've got the recipient. You better win the contest fast or the postman's gonna be very confused. He's gonna be checking out this video, of course, trying to work out just who won the contest, but best make it quick with your entry. And then over here, we've got a loving picture. That's the Queen right there for the stamp. Uh, you can tell because she's wearing a little name badge that says, Hello, I am the Queen. And then we've also got an interesting article here. I don't think you could quite make it out. There you go. Man of three letters wanted for murder. Huh, that's awfully quaint. I've never heard that story before. All right. I don't know what they mean about that. But anyway, let's get this open. Ugh. 
and put in those wonderful presents. Presents. I mean, it's going to be hard work to win this contest, let me just tell you that. Let's put it, I don't want to interrupt their mating, as you see it's rather beautiful. Just gently pop them in there, tuck them in. Sorry about that little delay there, I just had to read them a bedtime story, they were getting restless. Okay, so, we've got the games there and you're like, wow, this is probably the best contest I've ever entered and I haven't even seen the question yet, so it's going to be marvellous. Well, just hold on here, just hold on. This isn't the end. As you know, I've been sponsored on YouTube by a particular company for my half a decade of making terrible things. I, I mean, working for, working for them, as I was about to say. It's not really working for them, it's working with them because they're just such a pleasure to be around. And of course, I'm talking about Haz Company who make isopropyl rubbing alcohol, 70% uh, first aid antiseptic. Perfect for when you excitingly open the box and lacerate off your own arm. This will help you give a few more seconds to your brief but pleasurable experience with your Super Game Boy. So I'm going to just toss that in and oh, 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 oh my, oh god, oh, it, oh shit, I can't find the lid, I can't find the lid, don't send me a lid, get out, gotta keep rubbing, gotta, uh, gotta keep uh, rubbing, uh, uh. All right, so now that you know what you're in for with the full package, uh, be careful when you lift it up. You might have an unexpected surprise waiting for you at the bottom, but um, everything's probably still working fine. Uh, no cause for alarm. But now we need to get to the question. Now, with a lot of YouTube contests, they like to mess you around. It's not really a real challenge. And at the end of the day, when this package arrives at your house and your parents say, son or daughter, or, or gerbil, I mean, I don't really know my demographic, I've never looked at that page of YouTube because I don't discriminate and I'm not interested in your personal problems. Anyway, moving on gently but haphazardly, when this parcel arrives at your doorstep and says, your, your, your son says, no your dad says, but your son could say it as well, uh, we'll go for dad for this example though, son, what the hell is that fucking wet parcel on your doorstep? And you go, well dad. You must listen. I won this in a YouTube contest. And what I had and then he'll ask, "Well, what did you do then?" And you want it to be impressive. You don't want him to think that you won this by just liking a video and subscribing and leaving a comment that says, "I want to win this contest, please, Mr. Huxel DDM." And it 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 you know, you don't want that to happen. You want to be able to show off this parcel. You want it to be imp oh, don't lift it too quickly or it'll go everywhere but you want to show off this parcel to the world and you want to be proud of it so I've made a question that I think is a real challenge we've got philosophers here we've got painters we've got people who wank all day and that's okay because I've got a question that unites you all um, that I think you'll all have a good shot of answering so here we go here's the question to what extent could the character Puss in Boots from the Netflix animated series The Adventures of Puss in Boots be compared to his feature length counterpart from the Shrek franchise? Make sure to give reference to a variety of scenes and additionally try to focus the discussion around his Shrek 3 iteration as this is when the character was sexiest. Draw a picture of Puss in Boots banging small plump orphan pig child Toby in his porky a Alright, so that's a pretty good question. Now, obviously there's a lot of ways you could go with that. My favourite answer of the bunch will be picked at the end of the day. So remember a few facts about me. I love the letter Z. So you should try and get that in as much as possible. Just whap it in everywhere and I'm sure to give you the prize at the end of the day. But also, get sentences. Um, sentences, what else was it? That was something else. Shit. <sighs> Donations. You need to send me lots of money because getting this parcel to countries is tough. Need lots of money. Oh, and make sure to like every single one of my videos that I've ever made. That's another important prerequisite to winning the contest. So, okay, let me just go into a few more details about the kind of answers I'm expecting. So what I really want you to start with uh, when you write the introduction is, you know, just give me a flavour, a flavour of everything. Another peaceful day in quiet suburbia. 
but an important day for you. If you enter the contest, you only have a few moments remaining to enter. As of course, we're en route to delivery. I don't know why we have to do this. It's a new YouTube community thing. Uh, when you do a contest, you have to show yourself delivering the parcel with suitably epic music accompanying it. So it's quite an interesting experience. But anyway, let me take you on a journey. So off I ventured into the deepest, darkest depths of pleasant Yorkshire countryside. First, down a poorly maintained alleyway in the middle of a small village, and then to a jungle, and then back to the alleyway because I got a bit lost. If I'd known I would have ended up outside doing these, I would never have agreed to this. And then there was this really big old, well, it wasn't even a bridge, it was like, it was like a viaduct. It was a, that's it, that was it, that was the bridge! And if you're wondering if I've managed to conquer my chronic dwarfism, then I'm afraid that's simply not the case. Instead, what has happened is, I've found the world has grown to accommodate me, rather than the alternative, well, I guess it hasn't grown, it shrunk. Anyway, I think we're getting close. I don't know if you can see it quite on the cusp, but yeah, I think we're getting close to this post box. Shouldn't be long now. And then I went back to the jungle <sighs> again for a bit of a laugh. You know, I knew we should have rerouted when I saw the sign. Turn right for Nam. Oh. Uh. Why'd they put a post box in the middle of a jungle? Uh. Oh, god damn it. We'll see who gets the last laugh plants. Have you heard of something called global warming? Yeah. See you in 50 years. Looked like my fortunes were beginning to smile upon me as I found the busiest road in the whole of England. But then, absolute parcel peril struck, and I got very. Very fucking lost. And then I started talking to the animals. Hey, don't you all forget to like this video. Hey! Hey! And then I started babbling to myself like a maniac. In fact, I haven't found anything except more bloody fields. And some sunstroke as well. For good measure. I eventually wandered into the veritable hub of civilization and attempted to coerce the locals. Anybody know where I can find a post box? Anybody? But to no avail. Then I started making creepy sex noises and I hoped to get arrested and taken to a police station that might be near a post box. <sighs> oh. 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 Yeah. Oh. 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 Oh, all this wandering aimlessly, it, uh, it takes a mighty toll on your character. Oh. Oh. But I'll get the goods to you, lads. We can't be far now. Just 50 more fields. Just almost, it's basically 49 and two thirds at this point. But eventually nature took its own course and my 10 minute turmoil was finally coming to a close. All right, lads, so get a load of this, okay? You're gonna love this. Guess where the post box was. Yep, yeah, just here, in the middle of this quaint little shithole. How was I supposed to... Ignore that building. It's irrelevant. As they say in France, goodbye, you stupid bastard. But the post box would not take my post box. So I took drastic action. The beast was slain, the nightmare was over. Well, until you receive it in three to five working days, of course. Thank you to everyone who entered in the DDM Summer Extravaganza Excellence Contest 2015 uh, from Huxelberger. Fantastic contest this year, great turnouts. As they say in the real world, there are no winners, only losers. Now I'd love to extend like my full congratulations to everyone who participated, but sadly I'm in the middle of an exciting new Let's Play that you're all going to enjoy. I call this one Let's Play the Super Mario World. Uh, so until next time, adios, I'm the DDM Huxelberger, and I'll see you some other time when I'm feeling more bothered. <laughs> what are these things? I'm in dinosaur land, and there's... There's, there's these dinosaurs, what's up with that, eh? Woo!
Okay, let's go up here and get the coin. Fantastic. This is going great. Whoa, keep your head down, Mario. Are you crazy? Oh, we've dodged that. Watch out for the pit. Oh, oh that's a badonga. Oh, marvellous. So, that's a Badonga count. We're up to 38, I think. I think it's 38. Oh, who cares? They won't notice at all. It's probably 37. No, no one's really paying attention. Um, okay, so when that's a Badonga hits the screen, like that, it's going to come up bold. Okay, it's got to be bold font because it's big business. It comes up, zooms in and captures the hilarity of the exclamation. That's perfect. But wait, 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 wait. What if it came in from the side, sort of sneaky cheeky like, just sneaked its way onto the screen, would really incite the chuckling, I think. But why not both? Why not make it zoom in whilst coming in from the side and it's in comic sounds? Beautiful, beautiful. Stop it, that's great.